was sick. I was sick, bro. Ah, ah, I ripped off my beard. Ah, I ripped off my beard. Ah, oh, I can't put it back on. Oh, it's my hair. Dude, what are you doing in here? Dude, what are you talking about? Why would you tape dreads on your chin? This grew out of my chin. It is definitely not fake. Uh, no, this is not tape. Whatever you say, bro. Oh. Well, this is tape. Guys, it's cool, it's tape. I guess I don't have a beard. Oh, wait, I do. Hey, the beat go off? Hey. hey. Guys, today we're gonna be talking about beards, uh, specifically dread beards in honor of puberty. Finally deciding I'm a man, which I thought a while ago, but I guess I'm still growing. I mean, it's not full. I'm waiting for it to get full, but that's decent. Okay, so I gathered like 20, 22 photos of people with dreads for beards, beards for dreads. I don't know how I want to say that, but I'm just gonna let you guys know they're majority white guys. I guess it's not too common for black people to make their beard into dreads, but let's get into this. I'm gonna be reviewing those 22 photos of dreads. And at the end, I will decide based on theirs whether or not I would do it myself. I mean, I can't really do it right now. That's why I gotta look at theirs. So just continue to stay with me. I don't, I don't know. Okay, it's really hot in here, so let's get to it. First, we're gonna start off with this set of dreads right here. It sort of looks like, I don't even really think these are dreads, but it looked really cool, and the hair is separated individually, and I mean, it looks cool, but at the same time, it looks weird. Like, it looks like um, one of those weave baskets, but it's so kind of frizzy that it makes me think of like a, a bird's nest. It doesn't look that clean. Next, we have these. I can't tell what race or ethnicity this guy is, but his dread beard looks really long. Like, it, it doesn't look like he intended for it to be a, a dread. Well, it looks like two dreads. Um, it looks like it just sort of happened. It's starting to thin out right here. It look, You can tell it's dark. It's dark black at the ends. It's probably dark brown, I'm assuming. But the photo's black and white. And then as he aged, it became gray, and then it started to thin out, sort of. And then there's a little section where it's just beard, regular beard, and then it's just dread. But it looks really cool. Um, I guess he just never cut his beard, and that was the result of it. All right, next we have, like I said before, they're all like Caucasian, it seems. This guy, this seems more intentional than the last one. You can see that he has dreads in his head. They are gray. One looks like, there's one on the left that seems like it fell off. It's probably gonna be right here. The one, the second one from the left seems like it's starting to fall off, or actually, I mean, it did fall off, or something happened where it's not as long as the rest. It looks, it looks cool too. I can see that. All right, now this one, I can't actually tell. I can't tell if one is coming from his beard, his chin or not. When I save this photo, this one right here, there's one coming right out the side of his chin. It looked like a dread. Um, it kind of looked like a cigar. I don't know, he just, he has dope dreads in general if that's not coming out of his chin. Okay, the next set, his look clean. Like it looks like he just got a fresh retwist. It looks like all the hair off of his head just migrated to his chin. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Like they look like some pretty, pretty fresh dreads, but I don't know how I feel about it being on his chin. All right, now let's look at the next one. This one looks like it could be the last dude's dad or the last dude from the future. They're a lot longer. Um, they look less kept, like he just sort of let himself go, or he, he just wanted to start freeforming his beard dreads. Freeballing it, that's not what I meant at all. Next, okay, this guy seems more Irish. Cool tattoos. His, I like it, but at the same time, I don't like how it all just comes into one. Maybe if it was all, all of this was in there too, it would be somewhat cool, but the fact that it's all a beard, but then there's just one at the end, it doesn't all come into one. That makes me not really know how I feel about it. You know, from now on, I'm gonna rate the the rate and talk. From now on, I'm gonna rate the rest of these. I'll probably give this guy probably give this guy a four. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a four. Number eight, this guy. He seems really Irish. He makes me think of that one movie, Brave. Brave, yeah, Brave. The girl with the red hair. I like how his, his are curly. It looks natural. It doesn't look forced. It, it doesn't look like he tried to have dread, but at the same time, it still looks, it looks cool, it looks interesting. It's definitely a conversation starter. They look dope. I like how vibrantly red his beard is. It's 
especially compared to his hair. This guy, he has dreads on his head, so the dread beard was obviously intentional, especially with the beads. Oh, you can see through his ears with the gauges. I saw this one meme where it was like, if you have a friend with gauges, one day run up behind them and take a huge lock and just <laughs> lock it on their ears, that'd be funny. But that, was, that wouldn't be funny for the person with gauges. Oh, I didn't rate the Irish dude. Let's go back to the Irish dude. I would probably give him, I'll give him an eight. I, I like his, I'll give him an eight, or, or I'll give him a 7.5. All right, this new guy right here, he, he makes me think of a magician or a tattoo artist, an artist in general, like he's he's creative, he wants to be his own person, he's an individual. Uh, I feel weird rating people's stuff, but I'm probably gonna give him a four. I'll give him a four. This looks like a thumbnail, this one right here, looks like a thumbnail for a video. I'm assuming this guy is a YouTuber of some sorts. And you can tell this is fake. At first I couldn't tell until after I already saved it. But you can tell he pulled his, I can't even do it. He pulled his hair down in, into his chin and tied it right there. I've seen plenty of girls do that to fake like they have a mustache, fake like they have a beard. So I'm just gonna imagine that these are actually on his chin. I would give these a, a, a nine because I like how the beard look. I, it's not a beard. I like how the dreads look, and then imagining those dreads on his chin, it would just look dope. This guy looks like a rock star. I mean, you can see the guitar, you see the guitar, you see the leather jacket with the spikes, you see the tattoos. He looks like he's on stage. I see a microphone peeking off the left corner. Yeah, he looks like a rock star, and his dreads, they go from, they go from frizzy to sort of maintain. They look crochet looked and all that stuff. You can see the wispy at the end. They fit him. The fact that they fit him makes me like them more than I would on probably someone else. So I'll give him a 7.5 to an eight, somewhere around that range. These dreads right here, they're somewhat coming out of the picture where you can't tell whether or not they're dreads. But if you can see where it goes from black to brown, from the sun bleaching or the sun dyeing, whatever you want to call it. You can see the hair on his head is more brown because it's been sun dyed or sun bleached. And then the hair in his roots of his head is darker, sort of like mine, I don't it's darker, but I actually bleached mine. If you want to click a video, it'll be right here above my head. But yeah, you can see where it starts to get some more sun bleached and you can tell it's matted down there. You can tell it doesn't just end, the frizz doesn't just continue. You can see that it's getting thick and matted down there. Um, I just like the whole Rasta look going on. You know, dude, looks like he's freeforming all around. He looks like he didn't start off freeform, but he's going freeform, and even his beard's going freeform. He just looks chill. He looks like he, he, he enjoys life. Um, so the fact that he's enjoying life, enjoying his beard, I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a good seven. All right, next. This dude's dreads overall, especially even the, the hairstyle. The hairstyle is extreme, it's dope. I would, wouldn't see myself rocking it, or at least not that big. If I did rock the ball on top of my head, look, I probably wouldn't make that one in the front as big or the second one as big. I'd probably push it further back and then we're not even talking about hair. We're talking about beard pubes, you know? We're talking about chin pubes, not... <laughs> okay, so his, his... They look really maintained. I wish I got a more clear photo, but these look really maintained. They're really extremely lengthy. Like, dude, dude's killing it with the, with the chin beard. I don't even know what to call these, dread beard. He's killing it with the dread beard. I would probably rate these a 9.5. If you guys don't know, I got, I got high standards. So if anything is a 10, you gotta be perfect. You, you gotta be perfect. I wouldn't even get my own hair a 10. I'd probably get my own hair on my head. Dang, I actually love my hair. Uh, looking in the mirror right now, I'd probably give the hair on my head an eight, to be honest. I give my hair an eight, and then I'm giving the hair on his chin a nine. A po nine point two. I give him a nine point two. That is that that is good. I'll give this hair on my head a nine. Yeah, I like my hair. All right, next. You guys probably all know this guy, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. These aren't fully dreads. I don't think the actor, is this Johnny Depp? I think it's Johnny Depp. I don't think he wanted, you know, dread beard, beard dreads. He probably didn't want to cut it right away after the movie, so he just drew it out and they braided it. A lot of people do braid their hair with, with starter locks and let it sit to become dreads. So I like the little look. I like the dish proportionate look, how one is longer than the other. I like how he has the little beads at the end to, to finish him off. I'll give these a solid six. The only reason it's a six and not something higher is because of the fact that they're just braids and this was just for a movie. 
He's not actually brought to you in real life. Okay, next, this is really dope. You can see it starts off frizzy, but I think that's, I think that's, that's reoccurring. I feel like that's been with all these dread beards so far. The reoccurring frizz on the side, but then it all meets up in the middle eventually. I like the length for sure. I like how they gray. It's not really like black. It's not, it's not black at the bottom and then gray up here. As you see with most people, they're still gray all the way in the end of it. The bottom of it still has gray in it. I always like when people have strands of gray in their hair. I like, I don't know, I like gray hair. It looks dope to me. Um, if I would rate this, dude looks chill. He looks like he likes his style. You can tell it's intentional because he has regular dreads. Dude looks like a total hipster. I'm giving it an 8.5. Next, we have this Indian. I actually really like this photo. He looks like he doesn't really, actually no, let me take that back. I was about to say that he looks like he's just barely starting his dread beard journey or he didn't really want a dread beard. But now that I look deeper into it, it looks like he took whatever beard he has and twisted it around and now it's just like a little knot sitting there. It's not fully extended is what it looks like. I was thinking it was just like a little nub like he had just started, but you can tell based on the color of orange that it wasn't always white like how it is up here. It's older hair, it's, it's been there for a while. Given that it's probably religious or spiritual or, or something about their culture, that, that's dope. People, people following their culture and all that stuff, that's dope. So I'll probably give him an eight as well. All right, this guy right here, ah. Uh, it seems too forced, especially the fact that he has them on his sideburns. And then there's some on his neck. I feel uncomfortable looking at this. I mean, it's dope. I don't think he has dreads on his head, I can't tell. I like the idea, but it doesn't sit with me. You know, having them all come in random directions makes me think of like an octopus or a squid or something. I'll probably rate this guy like a two or a three. This is probably my one of my favorites. I'm not gonna say my favorite. This is probably one of my favorites. Especially the hair on his head. The hair on his head is dope too. The dreads on his beard, I can't really tell. The picture looks really focused on him, but his beard is sort of catching that out of focus. It's sort of it's sort of unfocused with the back. Ground. You can see a little bit of separation. You can see a lot of frizz too, but you can also see beads in the bottom. Um, it looks like there's a little part dyed white. I can't tell if it is or if that's just a bead, but overall, before I get to his beard, I'm just gonna say I like how he has the, he has sort of a high top. It's not a full high top. It's, it's sort of like mine. Don't focus on it. How instead of starting down here, it sort of starts a little bit higher and he has his tattoos up underneath it. Like that's just dope to me. I love tattoos. I have a tattoo on my wrist. I wish I wish I could get more. I want sleeves, I want chest. Probably won't go up to my neck until I'm older, a lot older, actually. Given the fact that his chin dreads fit with his whole style, his whole personality just based off of this one photo, it just fits. You you guys can see it fits. So I'm gonna give this guy a solid eight. The only reason I'm going down from a nine is because you can still see a lot of frizz. It doesn't look like he tried to go full out beard, dreads, dread beard. It just looked like he wanted a couple in there, so. This guy looks like one of my coaches. A young version of my coach, but from a different country, probably. I can't tell if these are braids. They look like really small box braids of some sort, but you can see how they're tied together towards, closer towards the base. It looks cool, but it looks creepy. He looks creepy. No offense if you see this, but he kind of look creepy in this picture. Creepy smile, your eyebrows are just arched like you're a, uh, I don't know, and then the three beard things, I don't even know what to call them, I don't know if they're dreads or not, they just top the creepiness, so I'll probably give you a, a two, man. I, no offense, bro, but the fact that you're up against a plain wall and it's sort of dark and you don't look happy at all, you kind of look upset, plain white tee, it, it makes me think of a mug shot for some reason. But, okay, we're not judging that, we're not judging anyone's character, we're not judging anyone's circumstances, even though it seems like that so far. But we're judging the dreads. It looks like he did two strand twists, so this is obviously intentional. There's a little bit of glare, so I can't really see. Okay, so yeah, it does look like two strand twists. Looks like he's just not getting into it. He's, he does have some length to his beard already, so that's good. I don't see too much new growth, so it looks like he probably did just start this process. They're sort of frizzy. I can see the two on the sides are sort of out more, but I mean, 
that, that's reminding me of the last dude, Octopus, you know. So I'll probably rate this guy about, about a five. All right, next, this is another Indian, it looks like. He has the same orange paint on his forehead, somewhat in a different style. You can see he has a dread or dreads on top of his head. So the fact that he has them in his beard is intentional, it's cultural. Mm, there's the frizz on the side, but it does look like he's sort of freeforming them. So, you know, I can't criticize him freeforming. You can only criticize him if it looks like maintained, but then you still got free. So then I can criticize him. But no, it looks like he's freeforming. His hair is gray, so he's had these for a while. A seven or eight. I'll give him a, a 7.5. Okay, this picture, I don't know why. It's so dope to me. He looks excited for something, or he looks happy. He looks happy with everything. His hair just looks so nice. The quality of the picture just looks so nice. I don't know why. Some people, when they wrinkle, it looks it builds character. When people wrinkle, it builds character. Some people. Some people, when they wrinkle, it build, It may build, char build character, Ugh. but it doesn't seem too cool to me. This, it's interesting. I like, I like the way his hair wrinkles. I like, I like the way his face sort of wrinkles. I like the way his hair is gray in certain places, in the right places it looks. It's, it's dope. Okay, but we're gonna get to his chin. It looks like he's freeforming this, but he sort of, it looks like he looped a knot in there, um, probably to make it shorter. Or, make, or something. I can't really tell, tell how long it is, but it does look like he's had these for a while, especially because of the hair on the top of his head is really long. Overall, I just like the picture. I love this picture. If I had to rate his chin, I'd give this guy a nine. I, I just love the picture. I love the the dread dreads. I just love the picture. Okay, that is all for the reviews on dread pictures, dread beards. So now let's get to the next portion of the video. Before we get to the next part of the video though, I'm sorry the shirt's coming off by, by popular demand. I'm sorry for all the, the viewers that don't want this. But a lot of people like the shirtless. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just doing it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, well, wait. How'd you guys go over there? I'm gonna be asking you guys a question. You guys are gonna be answering it. I'm gonna be asking myself a question. I'm gonna be answering it. But before we get to that part, let's talk about something. So I've been wanting a beard forever now, ever since I was probably like 12. Um, there's a picture on my mom's Facebook of me trying to shave. There's also a picture of my brother trying to shave. We were young. I was probably, yeah, 11 or 12, somewhere around there. Me and my brother were both trying to shave and we had literally no facial hair at all. Um, Still, going into senior year, I barely had any facial hair now. I got that right there. But I've been telling myself in my head for a while now, as soon as my beard does get long, as soon as it starts coming in, as soon as it starts filling out, I'm gonna decide to stop cutting it, stop trimming it at all. I'm just gonna wolf out, whatever it's called. I, don't, I think that's I think this is what wolfing is, when you just let your hair grow, like you don't get a lineup, you don't get anything like that, of that nature. So I'm just gonna let my beard grow. I'm just gonna let everything just do what it's gotta do as soon as I get to that point. You guys can answer this question into the comments. Should I get a dread beard? Or should I, you know, just, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna be answering this question myself. Based on what I've seen, I uh, I think I think a dread beard would look pretty nice if you do it the right way. If you can you can go wrong in many 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 ways. So I mean, I did that out. if you do it right, I mean it'll be worth it. If you do it wrong, I I don't know. Probably just have to cut your entire beard off. So maybe one day down the road, I might get a dread beard. If you guys have dread beards, make sure to go to my Instagram. The link should be in the description, maybe. If not, you can see it on my page, my channel art. You can just click that. If you have a dread beard, or if you have a full beard at least, and you want to show me a picture of it, or you want to show me a picture of your dreads on your head, let me know in my DMs. Send me a picture of that. Send me a video if you want to. Let me know if I in the comments or DM me if I should get a, a dread beard whenever the time comes, whenever my length does get to that point. Let me know. Any of your opinions, just let me know. I mean, people gave me their opinion about the no shirt, and look what happened. Continue to flow, and may your locks grow. Peace. Hey, the beat go off? Hey. Hey, I up it, then my he go off. I heard he do that sneaky talk. Hey, huh? huh? I heard he was a sneaky dog. You, uh, I up his fucking phone, then I speak it, dog.